Glad to have you join me on a brand new episode of Housing Development, a program that answers your questions on real estate, housing construction, mortgage finance, interior deco, house furnishings, and so on. Here we'll bring you up to speed on all the happenings in the housing sector, both on the local and international scene. I am Flora Annie your housing diva. As people spend more time at home, the COVID-19 pandemic reinforces a critical role that housing plays in protecting our health, safety and well-being. After the news, we shall be discussing some housing issues as usual as it affects the most active section of the Nigerian populace. Stay tuned for the latest housing news and housing. The Housing Development Advocacy Network, HDAN, has called on all public and private stakeholders to provide measures that will provide succor to the most vulnerable people in the society. In a statement signed by the group's president, Festus Adibayo, the call became necessary as the group has evaluated the recent CBN economic intervention policies and observed the lack of provision for the real estate sector, a very critical sector at this time of national lockdown. Hedgden believes that government needs to incorporate housing sector bodies into its recent pandemic act to enable and allow housing sector stakeholders actively participate and come up with creative ways to salvage the situation by rendering solutions for addressing housing vulnerability. Mortgage experts say the coronavirus pandemic may trigger a wave of mortgage defaults in Nigeria, which could affect the nation's housing market. At the moment, mortgage services face potential loss in the wake of coronavirus, owing to the economic lockdown and the stay-at-home directives by the federal government, which has prevented workers from earning as much as sufficient. The president, Mortgage Banking Association of Nigeria, Abdeniya Kinlusi, wants the country to take a cue from other countries to avert further default in mortgages by taking proactive actions. While the chairman of the Nigerian chapter of the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, Benga Ismail, says government should suspend tax for this month by giving a tax credit in a way to give back as the pandemic is triggering defaults in many countries where monthly contract is the norm. The Southwest Michigan housing market has taken a step back in recent times after a great start to 2020. The association executive for the Southwestern Michigan Association of Realtors, Alan Jeffries, revealed this, adding that the number of house sales dropped to 181 from 235, just as selling price set new price records when compared to February 2019. According to him, the average selling price in February 2020 was close to $223,000 compared to less than $200,000 in February 2019, while the mortgage rate was 3.43% in February, down from 358 in January and 457 in February last year. China's private housing market is springing back to life as more sales offices reopened across the country following a nationwide shutdown, saving home builders from a deeper financial slump this year. According to China's Real Estate Information Corporation, transactions in at least eight large cities indicate that buyers have returned in recent weeks with volumes surpassing the average levels in the final quarter of 2019. The rebound comes as a relief to the industry after measures to contain the coronavirus outbreak kept buyers away and almost froze the market. Developers have since offered discounts to boost sales and avert a liquidity crunch as factories resumed production and lockdowns eased. I'm Debbie Erb. I work for OPIC in the United States and uh, keep watching the affordable housing development program. Why must you stay at home in preventing the spread of COVID-19? The virus only spreads as much as we allow it spread. The choice of where you go to at this time may put everyone close to you at risk of COVID-19. When you stay at home, there is also a limit to your contact with possibly infected objects and materials compared to when you are in a public place. 
you are more likely to maintain proper hygiene and sanitation of yourself and home if you stay at home. Always ensure you stay safe, stay aware and stay home. By doing this, you will not only be protecting yourself, but also protecting your family, friends and the entire populace. Join the fight against COVID-19. Take preventive precautions seriously. Stay at home, work from home, help stop the spread of the virus. Do your part and we'll all be safe. Together we can do it. Together we can conquer the virus. Together we can heal the world. Housing development. For more on those headlines and many other stories, please do visit our housing news website, www.africanhousingnews.com. Also, don't forget to go to our YouTube channel at Housing TV Africa and click on the subscribe button. Let me take you through the life of people who wake up daily to poorly constructed houses with little or no infrastructure, poor sanitation and the likes. Take a listen. <music> With a population of over 200 million people, Nigeria is already the seventh most populated country in the world and is headed towards being the third most populated by the year 2050. Statistics show that almost 50% of this population are living in extreme poverty, a major reason which has caused an increase in the rate of migration from rural to urban areas. People flee to the urban areas in search of better job opportunities or easy access to basic amenities, including education and health care but most times are not lucky in finding it. Now the question is how prepared is the housing sector to take care of the housing needs of the growing urban population? Housing Development Crew paid a visit to the settlement located around Nepa Junction, Apo, in the nation's capital, Abuja. The inhabitants of this settlement migrated from various local locations in a bid to experience the urban life but are without access to proper shelter. Seven years of its existence but without proper housing for its inhabitants, only batches built by the residents themselves with zinc, wood, so they can have where to lay their heads every night as a means of survival. Residents of this community which lies behind some impeccably constructed vacant estates decry the substandard housing conditions and the many challenges they face. As you can see the way people are living here, it's, yeah, it's not easy. We are facing a lot. As in, there is suffering, suffering in Nigeria. But maybe everybody will know. Unless if they reach where the suffering there. Just imagine. Now, Bacha, I want to believe you. And if you come to the wood to eat the Bacha, if you rent the drop, another different wala. Like me, I would say I'm a victim because Bacha, where they live, if you rent the fall, there is nothing. If not in the night, eh, we will stand here, no sleep again, no hospital, no water, no tap pump. As you go back the rich ones, where are you want water? We want to use their ball. If you know well, uh, if you carry yourself go hospital now, where may another person carry you go? But nothing like, no even first aid box. These people live in constant fear of their lives every day because the community is exposed to all sorts of criminal activities. This kind of place, myself, sometimes myself, many, many things they happen. Because if you walk out from here like this, they will attack you. They will collect many to what you want. So sometimes they enter many houses, collect some things. 
police de Marseille quiz, the police Marseille, qui bigot de port de Marseille, qui de Marseille, de fiat de entahe. These people who have come from all over the country in search of greener pastures are crying to the government to help improve their standard of living beginning from their housing conditions. As human beings, they are angry that a countless number of houses in the nation's capital still remain uninhabited, yet they live in batches. They seek for the government's immediate intervention. My name is Kendi Ogunjimu, the Managing Director of Nigeria Mortgage Refinance Company. This is a good program, uh, housing development on AIT. Please keep watching. The biggest challenge we're having here in Waru is a road network. Um, there is a very poor network uh, in this uh, Waru community. There's no drain, drainage systems here. Most times the houses, the, when rain falls, the roads are covered with water. Uh, the houses, some houses have been washed away. So it's a terrible situation. We are calling on the uh, the FCT minister to come to our aid and rescue us here. A lot of things are not here, they are supposed to be here. Number one thing is uh, there's no road. You can see the, how bad the road is. There are no infrastructure, nothing. And uh, we are having water challenge and the uh, light is frustrating. We hardly see light here. We need police station. Police station is very, very important. And when there, when there is police station, you have many things. Even bank, the presence of bank will be here. The major things that are needed in this community, social amenities, which is school and the uh, hospital, the streets are very bad. So we need assistance from government if through ABMAC, if they can assist us, so that at least when all people like all vehicles are moving around, they will find it very easier to gain it. It will remain some things that government will have to do for us, like good roads, even public water. Though there are some people that have water in their houses, and uh, this light is not regular enough. Though we have lights, but we want them to put more for us. This water we need, we need road well, well from here to Apple Road no good. Every day traffic, traffic. Up to now that is never clear. My name is Dorothy Baziwe and I encourage you all to keep on watching the housing development program. Thank you. This sense of affordable housing is key to good health, and without it, the spread of any disease is inevitable. At such a precarious time of national lockdown in Nigeria's history owing to the coronavirus pandemic, much attention must be paid to the well-being of the citizenry, not only as it relates to the health sector, but also the role of proper and adequate housing for all. In the light of this, the Housing Development Advocacy Network, HDAN, has called on all public and private stakeholders to provide measures that will provide succor to the most vulnerable people in the society. In a statement signed by the group's president, Festus Adebayo, 
This call becomes important as the group has critically evaluated the CBN economic intervention policies at this time of the coronavirus pandemic and observed the lack of provision for the real estate sector, a very critical sector at this time of national lockdown. The inability of the CBN economic intervention to identify the crucial role which housing would play in this critical time raises the question, how do people stay at home if they never really had what they could call a home in the first place. Hedgedan, through the statement, also desires a policy declaration from the government that will address the struggles of NHF loan subscribers, especially civil servants. The national lockdown, a few months break from the payment of the loans, will help subscribers use their lean resources to cater for the needs of their families. The group believes that the government can work out a good plan with the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, FMBN, to this effect. The group's president, Festus Adibayo, opines that these are urgent recommendations to the government to roll out palliatives in the area of rental payment, mortgage payment obligations, downward review of interest rates, else mortgage subscribers might just lose their houses if nothing is done. Adebayo's advocacy also extends to an order giving a break in mortgage to rescue the vulnerable and poor masses at this hard time. Particularly, Hayden urges the authorities of Lagos State and the FCT to open a homeless people's register for citizens who have no home but live in shanties or squatting in heavily congested rooms with poor living conditions, while also calling on religious bodies to join the collaboration with public authorities which will enable the provision of up to six months free accommodation for the most affected people in this period. According to Hitchden, there are many vacant houses that can become temporary shelters for homeless people and that stakeholders should do everything possible to allow access to these houses. There is also the need for governments to incorporate housing sector bodies into its recent pandemic act to enable and allow housing sector bodies like the Federal Housing Authority, the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, the Nigerian Mortgage Refinance Company, the Family Homes Fund and others to actively participate and come up with creative ways to salvage the situation by rendering solutions for addressing housing vulnerability. By extension, the Pandemic Act should also, of necessity, include the suspension of utility fees collection like water and electricity and, where possible, rental fees on government-owned houses and properties as part of immediate solutions. If the country must fight the spread of this virus, it must quickly make arrangements for all of this category of people. It is also important for stakeholders to provide daily handouts and free meals for these people else they will be forced out of their shelters in search of food. In a country with over 200 million people, the homeless situation is indeed saddening as over 50% of Nigerians live in slums and makeshift shanties where the conditions are below minimum living standards. These slums make it easy for the spread of diseases and the situation is even more troublesome in the northern part of the country, where millions of people are displaced due to insurgency while others are living in poorly set up IDP camps across the country. It all boils down to government policies as government needs to rethink and do more in the area of housing should the country scale through the pandemic of coronavirus. My name is Femi Adewole. I'm the Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer of the Family Homes Fund. Uh, I endorse the housing development program and the impact that is making in providing information about housing in Nigeria. Welcome back. Platinum Mortgage Bank Limited is taking steps to ensure that more Nigerians have access to affordable housing. As the mortgage bank rolls out mortgage support with the 48 hours fast track mortgage scheme. Take a listen. Platinum Fast Track Mortgage is a unique product to Platinum Mortgage Bank. It was developed here as a result of our experience with. Uh, providing mortgage services to our customers over um, a very long period of time. 
we found out that uh, quite a number of our customers come back to complain about the um, long processing time you know of uh, the regular mortgage loans that you find in the market these days you know so as a result of that they have uh, had very bad experiences in terms of losing their house allocations because of the long period it takes to process mortgage loans so as a, a sensitive a customer centric bank we went back to the drawing board to put together a product that would guarantee a customer you know someone who intends to own his house through mortgage a product that will guarantee him access to his property within the space of 48 hours which is uh, the shortest possible time for which uh, one can process a mortgage so we came uh, up with platinum fast track mortgage which is a product that guarantees every intending homeowner who walks into our bank and wants to access a mortgage the product guarantees him access to his property his desired property within the space of 48 hours from the time he meets all the conditions that are um, required to access the mortgage. There are uh, two aspects of conditions to be met if you intend to own a house through mortgage. First of all is the down payment, which is the equity requirement, you know, which varies from property to property depending on the cost of the property. You know. And then um, there's also a list of requirements that in terms of documentation that you need to meet before you can be guaranteed access to the property. 21 years and above, we need to be sure that you work you know, and by that you have a regular source of income, whether you're a government worker, a civil servant, a business person, you own your own business and all that. We need to be sure that you have a regular source of income as to be able to repay the mortgage. And then of course we need to be sure that you can afford that mortgage that you're asking for, you know, that it's within your capacity to repay every month. You know, so we request for various documents to verify this. Um, the age, income, and then your capacity. You know, by that we can ask for your pay slip for six months if you are someone who works in a structured organization. And then we can also ask for your statement of account for business people, people who do their own business, self-employed individuals. You know, so there are other documents which will be required of you for the mortgage to be processed. And once those two conditions are met, the down payment requirement and the documentation requirement, you're well on your way to owning your own home. The down payment, uh, we, we, you know, there are various terms that are used to refer to down payments. There's equity, there's personal stake, there's down payment. It all refers to the same thing, which is what you as a customer or as uh, an intending uh, homeowner will have to pay, you know, the initial payment you will have to deposit before your mortgage is processed. My name is Robert Hornsby with American Home Builders of West Africa. Keep watching Housing Development Program.
On that note, I call it a wrap on the program today. To catch up on all you've missed and to watch previous episodes, please visit our YouTube channel at Housing TV Africa. You can also go follow us on Facebook at Housing Development Program and on Twitter at Housing Program. As the situation with the coronavirus has progressed, please do stay at home and keep safe. I remain your housing diva, Flora Anne. Stay safe. Thank you.